All right. By the way, Google, almost all of Google's code is in C++ and Python. Uh, 9G Java. OK, maybe 10 or so. And 9H Python. Yes. OK, good stuff. The nice thing is, by the way, it's great that we have a lot of tutors who know Python because I keep pushing it. And we take our tutors from the best of you guys. You become tutors if you want to after you ace our course. Come on up and say, yeah, I want to be a tutor. Come on by, and we'll see if we have room for you. And that's why, because of that, because of me pushing 9H, we have a lot of 9H tutors. These bridge courses are meant to finish up the 61 series. So if you've taken most, or, but not all, of 61A, 61B, or 61C, then we have these bridge courses to save you the time of having to retake the entire course over again, being bored for 90% of it, and only learning something for 10%. That makes sense, right? It's a waste of four units to take something you've learned already, right? And besides, many of you are unit caps, so you want, want to take all these new things you can. Why would you have to waste four units on a course you already have, except not all of it? So 47C and 47A are custom courses, meaning you don't talk to me. In fact, I, basically, we won't work together the rest of the entire semester. You won't take my final exam. The way it works is you work with the 621A, Brian Harvey, or CS621C, Professor David Culler. You will work custom with them. Talk to them and say, look, I've done most of this course, but not all. And hopefully, this, by the way, to get in that category, you should have done, it's only, you only get one unit for this. You should have done three out of the four units. If you're kind of two or less, we want you to take the course again, because they don't have that. This is really only for one unit. You're almost there, OK? So if you're almost there on these two courses that are, that are part of the introductory series, talk to those professors. Do a custom course. Custom course means you will take their exams, because in theory, you've missed only a little bit, right? So basically, they're basically going to hand you every exam that they have. And you need to do what all the work you need to do to prepare yourself for that exam. So if you do everything except, if you know everything except for, say, the last week before the midterm, then you basically don't do anything for that 60 CS 47C class or 47A class until that last week, which you go to every lecture, do every lab, do every homework, do every project, and then you're ready for the exam. Make sense? It's kind of for you. And so you take all the exams, and your grade is a function of all those pieces. 47B corresponds to being close to 61B. And 61B, we teach you Java, software engineering, and data structures. If you took the CS Advanced Placement Exam AB, the AB version, which was recently canceled, and got a 5, you get out of 61B. Don't even worry about that. You're done. If you took it and got lower than that, you probably know some, but not all of this course. This may be relevant for you. If you took, the, if you took CS AP Exam version A, you missed some of the more advanced data structures that this course may actually be perfect for you with. Okay? So this course basically is the data structures part and the big project part, because that's part of the software engineering and the data structures. And you also take 9G. So if you know the 9G, you can kind of say that 61B equals 9G, the Java, plus 47B, the data structure stuff. Plus earlier data structures as well, but we'll assume you got that in the Java course. OK, so uh, this line needs to be fixed. And I keep forgetting to say this. Requires instructor consent. It does not require instructor consent. Just go off and talk to your 47A or 47C instructor if that's relevant for you. And if you're 47B, just come on in. We let everybody in. That's the reality. Okay. If you've taken 61B, you can't get credit for 47B because you've already gotten done it. Oh, makes sense, right? Similarly for the other two. So IUR students, a quickie note. In the past, there's been an upper division IUR class that's required programming. So the IUR department said, hey, why don't we send all their students to the self-paced program to learn that programming. And that's fine, except for historically, they take a course freshman year called E7 in MATLAB. They do nothing for three years. Not their fault. They took all the IR classes. That's great. And then they take one of our self-paced courses, and then they struggle. And historically, we, you know, every semester we look back at our who fails and who passes. And the IR folks as a category, not that they're not the smart, they just waited too long and weren't prepped enough with E7 to pass our 9G class, which used to be much harder than it is now. So we said, Let's actually talk to them and figure out what it is. Turns out that they have to take a C programming class in their upper division. So all they require is a C-like language, meaning if you've taken Java in the community college or at home or you learn on your own, that's fine for them because you can pick up C pretty easily. But if you haven't taken anything, why take Java and have to then relearn C for the C class? You should take C. So if you're an IOR and you're fulfilling that requirement, take 9C, end of discussion. You can also take it in community college. We found some local community colleges that have these, and people often find that they go a little slower paced. You know, even though we're only one unit, it's easy, it might be easier to have a traditional thing rather than a self-paced course for that. So that's the reality for that. Okay. 
The Self Praise Centers have recently moved, and we are now in the right behind the Love Lounge of the Satraja Dive building inside of the Cyber Cafe. So you go to the Cyber Cafe on the second floor, you kind of enter as you're going north. If you basically look at the Campanile, you walk north. There's a place right in there, and you go right there, make a right, and that's the Satraja Dive new building. That lower side is the second floor. Walk into the, walk into the cafe and walk into the back orange Love Lounge and walk right through, and that's the Self Praise Center. Exactly. And right afterwards, Carol has a little little fiddle and she will have a little uh, piccolo and she will take a little Pied Piper for you guys if you want, rocking right right over there, in case you want to see it, because it's a little bit confusing. Next right next to Pete, Pete's yeah. Coffee. Yeah, don't walk through the lab. And do not walk through the lab. That's really important. Yeah. The lab is only for students and it, you cannot get into our self pay yeah. center from the lab. It looks like you do. It's a one way exit only, so we don't we can't open that door. So you have to go around the other way. Okay. So I'm Dan Garcia, this is Kara Marshall. She runs the self pay Center, she's the manager of it all. She makes sure all the staff are doing well and she answers all your questions. Any kind of red tape, any administrivia, any issues with how the course works in terms of what's due when, Carol knows everything. She's the goddess of the self pay Center in terms of all the red tape and administrative stuff. The tutors are the, the gods and goddesses of all the content. Don't cross the beams. So don't ask Carol questions about the content and don't ask our tutors, it's very easy to do because you're already working with a tutor, you're feeling so nice and you have this great rapport with this person, you say, by the way, when does this do again? Wrong question to ask. You have to ask Carol that question because that person might give you an answer, it might be wrong. It's happened in the past where they've you know, innocently given you the wrong answer. The person, oh, okay, it's not due to the, end, to the end of the semester, fine. They walk away and they get wrong information out of tutors because the tutors don't know all the red tape of the stuff. Tutors are only supposed to know about the material, not, not about the details of the course. So what do you do? How do you get through this program? Simple, three things. Programming assignments, quizzes, and one final exam. Pretty easy. We call programming assignments and quizzes PAC, P-A-Q. So if you're talking about PAC, it means the combination of the first two things. Each of the first two are graded pass, not pass. You basically, for example, let's say you have a course like Python, which has, I don't know, say five programming assignments and five quizzes. You always have to do a programming assignment before a quiz. Because we found people who just go in cold for a quiz aren't prepared enough, and you learn so much by doing it. So you always have, there's a new rule, have to do the programming assignment first, the PA before the Q. So you'll come in and you'll do them, and basically, how does it work? Programming assignments are really stress-free. Do it at home. You have a checklist. You try to do as many things as you can. If you, if you miss one, keep doing it until you're done, until you think you're done. Go into the self pay Center. Sign up. There'll be a tutor who knows your language. Fine. You say, hello, sit down. And you, your job is to explain to the tutor. I've told my tutors, don't ask the questions. You guys should be teaching the tutors. So the tutor might say, what do they ask of you? And then you start talking for a long time. Well, they ask this, and here's the list. And the tutor might say, OK, prove to me you've done all the things in the list. And then you talk again. Mostly it's you talking and telling you all the things you've done. That's good exercise for you in terms of explaining your work to other folks. If it's, something's missing, we just say, oh, you missed this, this, and this. No problem. No penalty. Just go away and do them. You can do them right here on this laptop, do them right here in that Sun workstation, or go home and do them. Fine. Come on back when you're ready. So there's no penalty for waiting. You get them done when you get them done. And when you get all them done, we say, whoop, put a kiss, checked off. We hand the paper to Carol, say, this person finished their program assignment. Yay, we celebrate, and you walk away. Okay? A quiz is very similar. You come in, you say, Carol, ready for, it's all, by the way, our closed book quizzes. You come in and you say, I'd like to take a quiz. And she says, okay, here you go. This is where you are. This is the quiz you have. We have lots of different versions. So which version do you need now? Okay, blam, here's your quiz. You go to a quiet place in the room, closed book, pencil, and that quiz. It's all you get. You take your answer to the five or so questions. And then you say, I'm done. You, you maybe you have to queue up, depending on what the tutor load is. You get work with a tutor. And if you get anything wrong, it's a retake. It's not a fail. We just let you take it as many times as you have to to pass it. We provide you with a sample quiz. So do not just burn through the first quiz just to look what it looks like, because you have to wait two days between quizzes. So that delays you finishing. Look at the sample quiz. Take that like a real quiz. Study the stuff, and then take the quiz, the sample quiz, like a real quiz, and then go in once you're ready. Okay. If it's a retake, no problem. Wait two days and come on back and, and take it again and hopefully you pass it eventually. <laughs> Once you're all done, let's say you have five and five. I take all the points of those two things and each of them work with equal amounts of points. And then you have a final exam at the end. And if you get done early with the class, you can actually take the exam early and that's pretty cool. So how does grading work? Full credit for a pass, zero credit for a retake. And if you have, a programming assignment that has only some of it done, by the end, we'll, we might be able to get some partial for that, but really you want to finish it. You don't want to kind of have any half, of, any half done. The programming plus quizzes, we put them all into a ball, we stir the bowl, we say toil, toil, oil and trouble. What's the, what's the boil, boil? Toil and trouble, yeah. Toil and trouble. 
And we mix it all together, and we, ah, we have something cackles. And then each one they're equal. 